Hi everyone, hope you are very well by the grace of God. And today I am going to discuss the very useful part of speech in English grammar. Parts of speech or parts of sentence. There are eight parts of speech in a sentence. Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. Eight parts of speech help to make a sentence. And they help one another to make the sentence correct and beautiful. Isn't it? Just as the parts of a body, just as the parts of a body make a body completely fit and complete and fit. Just as the members of a family help one another to run the family peacefully, happily and progressively. So also the parts of a sentence help to make a sentence beautiful and okay, correct and appropriate. So you can think the importance of part of speech. Those who are uh, new learner of English language, those who are the new learner of English language, you must follow the parts of speech, every parts of speech. And today I am going to tell about an adverb. An adverb, literally, literally what is the definition of an adverb? An adverb is a word, literally an adverb is a word, a word that adds information to adjective verb or another adverb. An adverb is a word that modifies, describes and explains adjective verb or another adverb. It also tells about preposition, conjunction, interjection and even the whole sentence. Remember one thing, you must remember one thing, adverb does not modify noun or a pronoun. Adjective modifies it, adjective modifies noun or a pronoun, only adverb does not modify noun or a pronoun. You can imagine or you can think how big role does an adverb play in a sentence. So how many kinds of adverbs are there? There are three kinds of adverbs. One is simple or independent. Another is uh, no. another is, uh, relative or conjunctive or third one is um, interrogative. So I'll show you some examples to make the role of an adverb in a sentence. How does an adverb play a role in making a sentence meaningful and appropriate? So listen to me and watch the watch the boat. Look at the boat and listen to me. And then if you have any, uh, any sort of queries, you can put your queries in the inbox, in your comment. I will try to solve your every problem. Okay, let us start. Okay, now I have written down some examples regarding adverb to make you understand the nature of adverb. Actually adverb, uh, adverb modifies and clarifies and uh, uh, modifies uh, an adverb modifies and modifies an adjective verb and another adverb isn't it so we will see how adverb uh, works how adverb modifies an adjective verb and another adverb let us see the examples here the girl walks slowly the girl walks slowly there are six examples the girl walks slowly the determiner girl now walks verb slowly slowly is an adverb okay? slowly is the part of speech the adverb part of speech so slowly modify the slowly is not is modifying walk slowly is modifying the verb walk the girl walks slowly it means the manner of walking of the girl is slow slowly does not modify the girl the slowly is modifying walk walk ke slowly modify korche the boy writes clearly the boy writes clearly the clearly the word clearly is an adverb the clearly is modifying verb so an adverb how does an adverb modify a verb see it slowly the manner of working or uh, walking is slow the manner of writing is clear this is how an adverb modifies a verb next come to the example the tea is hot tea is noun that is an article hot what does what what is an adjective so is verb so to Two is here and adverb. Two is here and adverb. Slowly, adverb. 
clearly adverb the to is adverb here we will see what is the to the adverb to do here what is its function the t is too hot too hot the to is qualifying to is modifying to is explaining hot how much how much hot is the to uh, t how much hot is the t to is qualifying the hot is excess the hot is excess this is how here to is qualifying adjective adverb adds information to an adjective it is a very good book see it is a very good book this pronoun verb a article very great book good we know adjective book noun the so very very is again a very uh, is an adverb the word very is an adverb here very is modified good good is an adjective ke rakom bhalo khub bhalo the goodness the, uh, the goodness is too high here the goodness of the book is very much and very is qualifying is not qualifying book the very is qualifying good so adverb here adverb modifies slowly slowly uh, uh, modify is modifying walking clearly is modifying writing here two adverb is um, uh, qualifying or explaining what the very is qualifying or explaining also good next come the action of adverb on uh, on another adverb the action of adverb on another adverb let us see the example the girl walks very slowly the girl walks very slowly so this is verb slowly adverb so slowly ki adverb and verb uh, na, girl ki noun so very very tau is one kind of adverb double adverb here so very is qualifying very is qualifying kate slowly ke slowly is also an adverb the slow ta ke rakam maximum slow the manner of uh, the manner of the girl the manner of the girl uh, the manner of working of the girl the manner of the working of the girl is very slow so very is qualifying and another adverb so you know that uh, i told you the adverb qualifies modifies explain an adjective uh, a verb and another adverb here the, how does an adverb qualify another adverb let us see the example next example arpon talks too loudly arpon noun talks verb to hoche maximum much to equal to much Hmm. Loudly, loudly ki. Loudly one kind of adverb because it is an adverb manner. So loudly ke modifying korse, amplifying korse ke. Loudly ke amplifying korse hote. Two. Kya kam loud? The loud is very high. His talking, the manner of his talking, the sound of his talking is very high. So again, two is not uh, two is not qualifying or one. Two is qualifying loud. Kya kam loud? A adverb ta qualify korse talk ke. Aur A adverb ta qualify korse ke. এই অ্যাডভার্বটা কোয়ালিফাই করছে লাউডকে তো একদিকে অ্যাডভার্ব ইজ কোয়ালিফাইং ভার্ব এন্ড অ্যাডভার্ব কোয়ালিফাইজ এ ভার্ব অ্যানাদার দিস অ্যাডভার্ব ইজ কোয়ালিফাইং এন অ্যাডভার্ব সো সি দা एग्जांपल्स এন্ড সি দা ফাংশন সি দা नेचर অফ অ্যাডভার্ব দা ফাংশন এন্ড नेचर অফ এন অ্যাডভার্ব হোয়াট ইজ দা एग्जांपल व्हाट আর দা एग्जांपल লুক অ্যাট দা বোথ এন্ড সি দা গেট দা গেট ইওর কনসেপশন ক্লিয়ার দা গার্ল ওয়াকস স্লোলি স্লোলি ইজ কোয়ালিফাইং ওয়াক Slowly is qualifying what? Slowly does not qualify the girl. The boy writes clearly. The clearly is qualified. Clearly is an adverb. Clearly is qualifying right. And when uh, the word which qualifies a verb is an adverb. The word which the parts of speech which qualifies a verb is an adverb. The parts of speech which qualify an adjective is an adverb. The parts of speech which qualifies another adverb is a check, an adverb. The T is too hot. Too. I can say this is noun. T is noun. Is verb. Too. And what? What? is an adjective and what can be amplified for sake what the word or adjective is being amplified here what is is to the to is amplifying what to is explaining what and what is an adjective the word which explains an adjective the parts of speech which explain an adjective is an adverb similarly it is a very good book look at the sentence i can check it it pronoun is verb a article uh, very adverb very adverb good adjective book now look at the sentence how we do the sentences see the sentence one is qualifying the other isn't it one is qualifying the other it will also help you to uh, find out to 
find out parts of speech. Good noun. A noun is qualified by an adjective good. Isn't it? Good book. Good. An adjective is qualified by, by an adverb and very. So, we will see how the action works. Very good. It means the goodness is high. Good. Book. Book. How is the book? Book is good. The book is now, it is been uh, modified by the word good and good is an adjective. An adjective modifies the noun. An adjective modifies the noun. And good is modified. Good and is an adjective. An adjective can be modified by an adverb. Very good. That's why this is an adverb. This is an adverb. Now look at the, uh, the example number five. The girl walks very slowly. The girl walks, walks very slowly. Take another example. Slowly is a kind of adverb, adverb of manner. And slowly ke abar modify korte ke. Adverb ke, adverb ke ekmatro ke modify korte bari. Adverb ke ekmatro, adverb can only be modified by an adverb. It means, you must remember, you must see, the word which qualifies and modifies an adverb is also an adverb. So very is an adverb. And very slowly. Very is not qualifying word. Very is not qualifying the girl. Slowly is qualifying word. Slowly is qualifying work. And work is an verb. An adverb qualifies a verb. Similarly, Orpon talks too loudly. Orpon talks too loudly. Orpon kub jore kata wale. Ekanam rajin doko kori. Loudly. Loudly is qualifying talk. Kere kum kata wale? Loudly. Ucho shari. He talks high. High with high sound. And kere kum high sound. Ewa talkon jere kum two basa na wale. When two is used here, it is being uh, an adverb. And two is not qualifying talk. Here two is qualifying another adverb. So, is it clear? The examples are very uh, simple. And you can uh, clearly find out the nature and function of an adverb in a sentence. You must uh, go through it. You must uh, learn sincerely the nature and function of an adverb. Because adverbs has huge importance in making a sentence meaningful and beautiful. Okay, now I will come to the uh, classification of an adverb. So adverbs are of three types. One simple or independent, another uh, relative or conjunctive, and another interrogative. These are the three parts, three sides of, three aspects of an adverb. Okay, I'll come now. I'll show you. I'll go to the simple one. Huh. Okay, now uh, adverb is of three kinds, three types. One is simple, another relative, another uh, uh, interrogative adverb. But simple adverb, first I will come to the simple adverb. And simple adverb is of many types. Is of many types. Number one, simple adverb. What does simple adverb do in a sentence? Simple adverb, there are several kinds. I have written down all the uh, types of simple adverb. See the types. Adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of quantity, adverb of degree, adverb of reason, adverb of uh, affirmation or negation. So these are the types of simple adverb. These are the types of simple adverb. Adverb of time, adverb of place, adverb of manner, adverb of quantity, adverb of degree, adverb of reason, adverb of affirmation or negation. These are the types of simple adverb. Now I must focus on adverb of time, adverb of place, and adverb of manner. This adverb is actually the main adverb. Adverb actually, the function of adverb is actually found in time, place, and manner. And rest comes those quantity, uh, quantity degree reasons and affirmation. Let us see the adverb of time, adverb of place, and adverb of manner. I have written out three types of simple adverb. Adverb of time, adverb of place, and adverb of manner. Remember one thing, the full function of adverb, the main function of adverb, actually depends, actually is seen in adverb of time, adverb of place, and adverb of manner. And in this area, actually adverb shows when an action is done, how an action is done, how an action is done, and why an action is done. The main function of adverb is seen here. Always try to find out the adverb in this place. Adverb actually qualifies verb. Actually, modifies verb. Hmm. See, adverb of time. 
What does that not do? As for multiple part, adjective, and what does that do? And other parts of the noun and pronoun. So we will see, but in this area, we will see, uh, we will see adverb qualifying, modifying, and describing verb. Qualifying, modifying, and describing verb. When an action, adverb will show here in these examples. Adverb will show how an action is done, where an action is done, and when an action uh, is done. So let us uh, see the example. Adverb of time. He comes here daily. See the example. He comes here daily. So, which is the adverb? Which is the adverb here? Pronoun verb. Here daily. See. Pronoun verb. Here daily. Here is adverb here. And uh, daily. Oh, sorry. Adverb of time is also I am uh, actually uh, describing adverb of time. Daily. Daily. He comes here daily. She put it in Daily is modifying, qualifying, describing comes, not he. That Asha Take Mujatsi. Take Mujatsi. Daily. See, the boy arrived late. Late. Adverb. Arrived, he qualified. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Time. Late time. A time cake could say adverb qualified for the cake. Adverb qualified for the CK. Late cake qualified for the arrive cake. Late cake for the arrive cake. So, this is how uh, adverb shows when an action is done. When an action is done. And what uh, action is done by verb. So, this here. See the example of adverb of uh, place. Stand here. Go there. Come in. Stand here. Here is an adverb. There is an adverb. In is an adverb. Here, these words are playing the role of an adverb in qualifying, modifying, describing, and explaining verb. Stand here. Here is qualifying stand. There is qualifying go. Come is qualifying. Uh, in is qualifying come. And these three are verbs. An adverb always qualifies a verb. Next, adverb of manner. Govind reads clearly. See, even this adverb will show how the action is done. This adverb shows when an action was done, is done. And this action is, uh, is showing. Well, where is action, where the action is done and here action that's why this is called adverb of manner that's why this is called adverb of manner clearly clearly reads clearly is not qualified go in clearly is qualified read the manner of reading is clear the child slept soundly the child slept soundly sound the manner of the Baby's child, the child's, the manner of child sleeping is sound. Six for bravely. Four is qualifying. Now bravely is qualifying. Fight. Uh, fight to qualify could say. The fighting, the manner of six fighting he was brave. This is what adverb does in a sentence. This is what an adverb does in a sentence. So this is the objective part of adverbs, and you will always focus this part. And adverb is actually found here. Major part of adverb, major function of adverb is qualified by adverb of time, adverb of place, and adverb of manner. So, uh, rest, there are three, uh, four adverbs that I am showing you here. Now, there are, uh, now I have written down here three types of another uh, simple adverb adverb of degree or quantity, adverb of reason. Adverb of affirmation or negation. Affirmation or negation. You can also write it negation. Okay. So, you can write it negation or, or negation. Affirmation or negation. See, here uh, we will see how adverb effects. How adverb acts as a degree, as quantity. He, uh, he is pronoun verb very sad. Very sad. Set can modify course. Set can equal set. Modify course. Set is an adjective. Adverb here works as a degree or quantity. Very much. How quantity? How much? Uh, set he is. He is very sad. I am completely fit. I pronoun uh, am verb. I pronoun am verb. Fit. Adjective completely. Completely is what uh, modifying fit. The word which uh, modifies a noun uh, adjective is known as adverb. The word which modifies an adjective is known as adverb, isn't it? Here is also such uh, as such. 
very the sad sad is such an adjective the so sad, uh, sad is an adjective and the word which are uh, modifies an adjective is known as a verb is it very clear thus you will uh, find out adverb as such adverb of reason he is therefore cheerful he pronoun is verb therefore reason cheerful here is also cheerful adjective cheerful is an adjective therefore is modifying cheerful therefore he has he has left school hence is an adverb here hence is working as an adverb here adverb of affirmation or negation yes i have done it here adverb is working as affirmation i have not done it you must know not is also an adverb here not is working as an adverb it is acting it, it is playing the role of an adverb not is playing the role of also an adverb these are the examples of okay this is my analysis and description regarding adverb and in the next video i will describe a relative adverb or say interrogative adverb don't miss the video hope uh, you will like this video and those who are new to my channel subscribe and share it so that the poor students the so that the rest of the students and the more and more students can receive my education however be happy and be blessed right by god